What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, guys, I want to have a conversation about um, about women out here. And usually we talk about the things that women like in men. And of course, a lot of guys don't like what some women like in men, right? And we are understanding women like men who are conventionally attractive. But what else do they like? Especially in the black community, you know, a lot of women like guys who are charismatic. That helps. Guys who are funny. Um, Sometimes guys who um, are ambitious, but that could be later on down the line. A lot of things that uh, women tend to like in American culture um, are more phenotypical. Things you can see on the outside, the shell. And a lot of the endurance that is required to be a man This is what men always point out, that women typically look over these things. They don't see this, right? That's what a lot of men say. But on the flip side, on the flip side, I want to say that a lot of men can be very similar. What do I really mean when I say that? Now, men look at women, especially a lot of younger men. What we're looking for is what she looks like, okay? What does she look like? That might be the main thing, how big her booty is, okay? We just want to be real. A lot of times, especially when you're younger, you're not looking for a lot of the aspects of a long-term characteristic traits in a woman, because either you don't know yourself that well to express that, or you can't articulate that very well, or you just don't care. So a lot of the things that some of the women have, you know, is she feminine? You know, does she have good intuition? Does she have some level of wisdom? Is she able to encourage you or bring some value to your life? Outside of what you see, a lot of men don't take, you know, much into or don't look much into that. But one thing that a lot of men like is what a woman can do in the bedroom. This is what really blinds a lot of brothers, right? If the sex is extremely good and a lot of women can reduce what you need them to do in the bedroom. This is not not unnormal, but some women just have a lot to offer in that department. This is why you see a lot of celebrities are entertainers chasing Instagram models, okay? It's something to be said for a woman that really gets you going. And for the few brothers out there that I'm talking about, the women that send you videos or pictures or, or leave you nasty messages in comparisons to a girl that's a little bit more reserved, that doesn't do that. You can look at her and be like, you know, I really don't want to marry. I mean, she's the kind of woman I would like to marry and have kids with but she don't really do it for me like maybe some other chicks would, right? And that's Larsa Pippen. Larsa Pippen is the kind of woman that plays that particular role. And we wonder how she keeps coming back on the scene. I'm gonna tell you, because she's an extreme freak. And I want guys to be aware of this kind of behavior, okay? A lot of you guys are on the come up. You guys are gonna come across a lot of different women on your way to the top. Here's what you can do. If you get a woman that is a superb freak, it really can blind everything you're trying to do. I don't care how old you are. When somebody can screw, they can screw, right? That's why they used to always say in the the hood, don't deal with the ladies from the projects. Because if you go over there dealing with them, you're never gonna wanna leave. Many of your brothers have lost their lives trying to go over there to the wrong side of town because that box was too good. Now, Larsa Pippen has admitted that she likes to get it in four times a night. This was on the Real House of Wives of Miami reunion. Four times a night, okay? She's talking about Marcus Jordan wears a size 15 shoe. So there you go. So, and you're looking at it like, well, you know, that's just, that's just sex, right? You know, like anybody can get that. But I'm gonna tell you, man, just like there's some people out there that are more socially gifted and they can articulate themselves in different social settings, We got to be honest. There are some women out there. They just know how to make that thing move. They just do. We got to be real. There are some women when the in between the sheets, what is this? You and her, some some of y'all got baby mamas. You cannot stop dealing with them. You want to break up with them, but you're going to first thing you're going to remember is, man, I wonder if the dude over there got her like I used to have her. That's like, if every black man that's listening, you know what I'm talking about, right? If you've ever been in a situation, if you've ever broken up with 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 a woman that you really had good sexual compatibility, the first thing you're thinking about is, I hope you're not getting it. And you're thinking about, 
what situation you used to have her with and that somebody else is getting it. And sometimes it calls you to call and check on her. What you doing when you coming over? You know, we need to get back together. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We all been there. And this guy, Marcus Jordan, is being blindsided by the box. And a lot of times we don't look at why a woman wants us. You know, a lot of times um, some of these guys are just a means to an end. You don't know it. They know it. A lot of us as men, we have, um, you know, we feel very highly about ourselves, right? We do. We feel highly about ourselves. We feel that we can accomplish anything. We think that we're very special and we may. But why is the woman dealing with you? Are you more special than somebody else? If you're the rebound guy, you don't know. So you think she's putting it on you because she really likes you and she just might. But what we typically have found out is after that, you you come back out of that and you see what that's all about. You're like, damn, man, she doesn't really have that much to offer me. Like, what am I doing? And that's why brothers have to have what do we call post nut clarity. Okay. What what is it that she's doing for you such that I need to, you know, keep her around or do X, Y and Z? A lot of men can't do that. And a lot of men end up in situations where they get themselves hurt. They get themselves killed. I know plenty of situations like that where it's just, you know, it's just, it's just really all bad, brothers. And so the one thing I want to tell you, um, watch out for those ladies out there, man. And it's always, and I will tell you, in this game of life, the older, the more experienced they got. So don't you think I'm going to knock off this other lady right here. She's 40 and stuff like that. And I'm going to just break off something. You, you might mess around and get your ass broke off. You don't know what you're dealing with. Some of these ladies out here, 35, 36 years old, still look decent, 48. They got all the tricks, bro. In the bedroom, in the head game, all of them. You think you're going to go put it on somebody and holler from Jesus, you just wait, all right? I'm telling you right now, like my grandma used to tell me, just keep on living. I told you already. And if you're older brother, you know what I'm talking about. You better know what you're dealing with, young man. You think you're going over there and I, you know, like they say, I got news for you. Some ladies will, will, man, they will screw your brains out, bro. You won't know what you're doing. And it will come with so much uh, shit in the game that you might not find out some of these advanced lies until like 15 years later. And by then, it'll be too late. So don't you think that, you know, just because she's older, she don't know what she's doing. She know exactly what she's doing, all right? Some of the ladies out here are, are wizards. In the bedroom, they can cook, they can do things. And again, slowly but surely, you 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 it, it's a lot of stuff going down in these streets, family. You gotta really watch it. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Appreciate your offer that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.